Hey guys, we are just two days away from our free ticket giveaway to TennisCon 4, which I'm super excited about. So what I want to do is play one of my favorite lessons from TennisCon 2, where I went out, drove down to Florida, and Rick Macy gave a great lesson with one of his favorite students, Belle. She's uh, amazing, and um, you're going to love this. What I want you to pay attention to is the Tech, technical tips he gives her, but also the mental tips. Like I was just like, man, he's just probably given over a hundred tips in a 25 minute lesson. So really listen closely, maybe take some notes, a lot of mental stuff going on in the lesson and enjoy and be ready on Tuesday to get your free ticket to tennis con. Hey guys, Pete here. We are so excited for this TennisCon 2 presentation because I have one of my idols, actually, Rick Macy, who has coached so many great players, the Williams sisters. Andy Roddick called him the best junior coach in the world. He's coached Maria Sharapova, Vince Fadia, the list goes on and on. And he's allowed me to come out here and film and show what he does. Thank you so much, Rick. Good, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to let you take it away. I know you got a very important lesson with a great student, so. Uh, All right, show, show time. <laughs> Come here, Bella. This is Bella, one of my many students here at the academy. Um, what we're going to do is just tee it up and do just a typical workout lesson. A lot of times, you know, we'll work on strategy, we'll just work on technique, we'll do certain drills. Um, and the reason why I selected this student uh, to do this episode is I think she has enormous potential off the chart athleticism. Um, she's one of the, well, let me put this, she's probably the most dedicated student that I've ever taught. She plays every single day, hit serves, and you'll see by her serve, not only biomechanically is it off the charts, um, she has the blueprint of how to serve, but it's like anything else in life, what you put into it is what you're gonna get out. And this girl hits five, 600 serves a week. So at the end of the day, even at 12 years old, uh, she has one of the best serves, not only in the world for a junior, but biomechanically as good as most of the girls on the tour. And her second serve is just off the charts. But what I like most about Bella is her upside, her drive, her athleticism, and only been playing four years. A few tournaments when they moved here from North Carolina. Uh, but she competes, her competitive spirit, a lot of the intangibles that you can't teach. Uh, she keeps working hard and pursue, pursues her goals. I think she can be a major force in women's tennis. So what I'd like to do is we're initially gonna get into the serve. And I'm gonna break it down technically, just how this thing was built. Then I'll let Bella hit a few serves and then we'll go from there. And this is what I like about Comet, okay? She gets into this position, and we're not saying you couldn't be continuous. You can be continuous, but don't fall in love with that stuff. Everybody's looking at the wrong thing. It's not a beauty contest. The serve should be done in progressions. You want to load, you want to lock it, and then you're going to launch. Load, lock, and launch. I like to teach the hesitation as a teaching tool. Now, whether they gravitate into a full flowing motion, that's fine, but there's nothing you're going to gain. You might gain a little bit of more of a rhythm, or you might gain a little bit more arm speed, but that's overrated. That has nothing to do with it. At the end of the day, the legs have to drive the racket. Okay, let Comet keep popping some serves. Even though she's graduated, her feet are apart. Obviously, continental grip, shoulder, shoulder, elbow, bang. Here we go. Weight's gonna be on the back foot, 60-40, bang. 
She comes out, lands on the left foot, bang. Good, very seldom. This kid can hit 100 serves. There might be 10 that even go into the net. Bang. 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 Dr. Pepper, three in a row. But I expect this. Good try, good try. So, go ahead and take the racket back, buddy. Take it back, calm it. She goes back in this position. Now, when she's in this position, okay, bend your knees a little bit, okay? The legs drive the racket in, and the racket stays on this side of the body. So if you're looking from the side, and this is great for any coach or player, parent, okay? The racket really never goes past the center of the stall. And I can show you many players, even on the tour, the racket's over there. Where this racket is part of Bella's hand, a lot of people are playing with a broomstick or a hockey stick. Again, lock, launch, bang! Good. Now, corrective technique, maybe at the end, because she's doing this, I might say crack the whip. What that means, I'd want her to turn this out and snap a little bit more, but at the end of the day, keep firing, buddy. You guys see why I call her common. Bang! Good, clutch, clutch. Doesn't matter, nothing, doesn't matter, that's okay. Bang! I actually do that to make her smile, but if she's mad at me, she could hit me one day, but she hasn't yet in four years. I love this kid. Good, it's all right, positive air. Show me your second serve. Second serve in a match. Ah! Water, grab a drink, grab a drink, quick, quick drink. So, at the end of the day, let me give a little recap of what Bella did there. This is, she started playing four years ago. First serve, 95, 97. Second serve, high 80s, pulls the trigger. I'm all for learning a topspin serve, no doubt. That's what I teach most people. But at the end of the day, she does one thing that trumps all this, no fear. Fearless. And so if you can get a second serve that has a tight spin on it and kind of a hybrid, a little bit of kick and a little bit of slice, and in women's tennis, I think, that's, I think that's huge. But more importantly, if she misses, she gets right back up her and hits the second serve. And never has there been more than five or six double faults. But this is all possible because of the following. Great athlete, great genes, fast twitch muscle. I think like nuclear, you can see the explosion off the ground. When anybody watches her serve, they see how she uses the ground. Just like ground strokes, the power starts from the ground. If you notice, I'm not telling her to use her legs. I'm not telling her to jump. And also, if you notice, she's landing, okay, bang, bang. She's not taking four or five extra steps because she's going vertical, okay, and the serve biomechanically is as sound as I've ever had a student. And like I said, you see the head move, she can't help it. Because I think at 12, there's just too much going on. There's just so much twitch, and this actually goes that way. But let me explain about the back leg. When you get into what we call the power position or the cocking phase here, you want about 60-40. A lot of times people tell the kids, put your hip out. That's wrong. Or they say, get on your front leg. That's wrong. You're going to have the weight on the back leg, but the hip does come out. But it's a cause and an effect. You don't purposely try to stick that out. Now, her weight's on the back leg behind here, and the weight goes straight up vertically, Okay, and then when this driving occurs, it shoots her up in the air higher. 
So if you notice, Bella serve, the angle of descent. What I mean by that, the height over the net, scary. Most people talk about the height over the net on the second serve, which you should. But on the first serve, her balls are in the mid 90s and they're going over the net like that and she's still growing and she's not that tall. It might be a le little easier for Isner to hit it high over the net, but people don't understand the height over the net on the first serve. But that's all triggered by biomechanically, her connecting all the dots, checking all the boxes, and more importantly, having the dedication to come out and do this every single day. But I could take it the other way. If you're doing all these things incorrectly, incorrectly you could actually be getting into a worse habit. Because we all know you could do a million of anything and it's still gonna work. But at the end of the day, what you just saw here with Bella in the serve is already world class. No matter what she does from here on in, she's gonna have an amazing serve. Not only will the power be there, but when it's all said and done, so will the percentage. Okay, one of the things I do with uh, a lot of the students, it's called the pocket drill. I've been doing this for 30 years. Uh, many students. This is probably the number one drill to expedite and facilitate little steps. Okay, the rules are the gamers follow. I want the students to rip every ball. A lot of top spin, depending on where the ball is. They can't slice it, they can't drop shot. And what I do is I just kind of make them bop and weave. And depending on the level of the student, I can change the frequency, I can change the degree of difficulty, and I can scale it up and down, depending if I have an eight-year-old, a five-year-old, a 12-year-old who I think is gonna be one of the best players in the world someday, or someone on the pro tour. But what I do as a coach is I always get the feedback from the students over the years. And everybody's told me, whether they come off an injury or whatever, they say, Rick, this is the best thing for my footwork. It's different than a trainer. It's different than the gym. Because I got a racket, a ball, there's pressure, and I feel like my little steps come back, okay? Because we know nothing takes the place of match play when you have to take the little steps. And what I do is I overcook it extra crispy by doing this drill. And besides all that, it's an amazing cardio workout. All right, Belle, let's go. Showtime, let's go. Belle in the house, the Comet, the Carolina Comet. Good, keep working, good. Set the racket. And before we go any further, let, let me explain one thing. The technical part on this, on this child, uh, the backhand, just watch on it. She puts the right arm all the way back left elbow a little bent but it's all the way back and she does the pull push method kind of like Djokovic more like a lot of the guys on the tour so she does more the ATP forehand on the forehand she does the same thing she's to the outside 5 530 she taps a dog but she has her own little flair her own little idiosyncrasy what I mean by that instead of maybe clean shaping it because once again she's a wild animal but she's a great wild animal that's what I like better be in that than in a coma okay or a lamb you don't want to be a lamb okay so she kind of does a little bit of twitchy stuff here but it doesn't matter because at the end of the day she is aggressive and as she's gotten every month it gets smoother and smoother and that will iron out but remember what I said it's not a beauty contest but once again she's checking all the boxes and she's hitting world-class strokes on both sides more of the ATP forehand in the ATP backhand. But what I like more than anything, she has this. Her ability to compete and fight and to work her butt off is the wild card. You can have a great serve, a great forehand, great backhand, and just be a college player, okay? But at the end of the day, she has what's in here, and that's what I like the most. All right, back to work. Showtime, pocket drill. Set it, good. Back, good legs, good legs. You got the legs, you got the legs. Good, gonna get a little tougher. Up, it's only as low as you make it. One bounce, buddy. Go back, work it. Good, set it. Good, keep the head still. Good leg, back. Good, how do you feel today? Best day of your life? Smile, it has a big effect on the nerves. Look how much better she is when she smiles. I love this stuff. More players should do that, good. Elbow back. Good, way to keep it to the outside. Good legs, good legs. Gotta get stronger, good. The tired stuff's all mental. 
Do it. Keep working. Come on. Come on. You're doing great. Set the racket. Pop the popcorn. Extra butter. Down. Go. You're not tired. Don't quit. You quit. Me, you, and your mom quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. Keep going. You make it ice cold water. Not thirsty. Ice cold water. I knew you'd make it. Everybody makes the water ball. Give me more. Grab, grab a drink. Grab a drink. <laughs> We're going to do more. Grab a drink. Showtime. Back up a little bit. Pop the corn. Good. Turn it over. Good. Good legs. Good legs. I like the feet. No feet. You're in the wrong sport. No feet. Got to take up golf. Come on. Good, Belle. Quick. Quick. 40 years, no doubt about it. Probably the, the quickest player I've ever coached. But you can be quick and just go to college. Be an accountant. Work at Burger King. No way. No, I love that answer. Good. If you say no way, it's no way. Good. Turn it over. Good leg. Change the channel. Drop shot. Smile and it goes over. Smile. Good. You were praying that went over, right? Come on. Great feet, Bella. You got the feet. No feet, no tennis. If you can't move, you can't counter punch. Good. Work the pocket like a quarterback. Work the pocket. Good. I like how you're turning the doorknob at the end. Turn it over. Good. Good. I love that you do the drill. Smiling. I love this. Turn it over. Good. Big smile drop shot. Try not to try. Hello. Water. Water. Excellent job. Comet. Thank you. Way to work. Way to work. Okay, what we're going to do now, and I do this with a lot of students, I feed the ball very, very high, like zone 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20 feet over the net. And I use this as a drill to what we call expedite the learning curve with taking the ball off the bounce. What I mean is uh, a lot of the players, especially the girls, I want them to control the center of the court. I want them to take the ball right off the bounce. I want them to cut the court, and I want them to dictate and try to control the action. Whenever I have a young player like Bella, I'm always building not only a mindset of how to play, but a style of play. Because the cards that you're dealt at a young age, fortunately or unfortunately, can be with you the rest of your life. And how I've taught this young lady to play is to cut the court, take the ball early, very aggressive, always taking the ball out of the air, but taking the ball off the bounce. And one of the things that has happened is not only does she have very, very high level uh, optimal technique, but her mindset is right when the ball hits, take it off the bounce. And that's what I've tried to develop to fit along with her personality. And to me, that's the art of coaching, knowing what you got and then try to maximize it or really take advantage of those genetic qualities or those attributes. So what I'm going to do is give Bella a lot of high balls. She's going to take the ball on the rise, okay, and hopefully give her opponent a surprise. Right off the bounce, one, two, one, two, one, two. But I do this with all players just so they develop that timing. Because see, in tennis, you don't try to make the ball go. You don't manipulate it. And a lot of club players, they force the issue instead of letting the power come from the leg, the hip, the shoulder, out through the arm to the racket. The, the kinetic chain's all messed up. And a lot of times when you do this drill, the players can really feel what it's like to time the ball. And I like to tell the players, especially if they have a two-handed backhand, the body's the car, the racket's the passenger. The body pulls the racket through. A lot of times, especially with club players, the arms are kind of running the show and they don't really play with rotation. So we're gonna, I'm going to give Bella a lot of high balls. She's going to take the ball right off the bounce, and you'll see the timing that she has already. But once again, it's all been trained, a plan, and you don't wake up one day and just start doing this type of stuff. But you got to say, here's what the plan is today, but we're always playing for the future. All right, Bell, I'm going to give you a high backhand. Just pop the popcorn, adjust the feet, take the ball right off the bounce. Good try. Take your time. Keep your head still, kiddo. Hello. Good. Keep the head still. Right off the bounce. One, two. Hello. Great job, Bell. Comet. Good. Pop the corn. 
Hello, world class, buddy, world class. Good, keep adjusting, keep adjusting. Hello. Good, on the rise, give him a surprise. Good, I like the courage, I like the courage. I like the courage, comment, I like the courage. Good, stretch that right arm back, good prep, good prep. Good try, adjust your feet, positive air, positive air. That a girl, excellent. Excellent. Now, at the end of the day, all that matters is this. What you're building, what you're trying to do. Today's important, but tomorrow's more important. This is junior development. It's not junior final destination. So even though she's making 75%, which is off the charts, the degree of difficulty is scary. She's holding the baseline. She could back up and go all the way back to like Walmart and hit the ball, but she's adjusting her feet taking it right off the bounce. Now, will she do this in a game? Maybe, remember what I'm doing. It's a developmental tool to facilitate and trigger timing. Round two, Com, you're doing great. You're doing great. On the rise, give them a surprise, tear out their eyes. Hello, keep adjusting. Good, way to extend that left arm out. I like the feet. When you gotta take two, take four. See how she's probing? Always probing. Comment. Comment in the house. Good, play the ball. Atta girl, no fear, no fear. Who is this kid? Good. Wait a minute, I, I have a problem. I think I need to have cameras on the court every time. What's going on here? But I like it. When the lights are bright and the fans are in the stands, you deliver more. If you're not a performer, you're in the wrong. You gotta want it. I want the pressure. I want people watching. I want cameras on me. I love how you're raising your game. Good. Right off the bounce. Doesn't matter how high I hit it. Good. Excellent. Good, positive air, positive air. The biggest mistake is not trying. You won't miss any of these. Remember I said, I can get you never miss any of them. How? No, you'll miss none if you don't try any. Okay, you'll be undefeated. Let's go, keep going. One, two, right off the bounce, dad, dad. Good, a little deeper, doesn't matter. Good, doesn't matter. Good, keep adjusting, way to pepper. Good, I like the technique. That a girl. Good, keep working it. Hello, Comet in the house, the Comet. Refuel. Oh, I missed Good. you. I That's okay, you. that's all right. I miss you too, grab some water. Next drill. Okay, uh, to put a bow around today's lesson, one of the things I do with a, a lot of the students, I do this three times a week with Bella, is it's what I call a 20 ball suicide drill. Sounds kind of intimidating, but uh, and I guess it is. It's more about building inner qualities, trying to get the athlete to run for every ball. Um, it's not even about tennis. Obviously, I'm keeping a sharp eye on the technical part or even the strategic part. I want them to try to obviously hit the right shot from the right spot, but they're gonna be pushed to the limit, to the edge, where when they don't think they can go anymore, they gotta go a little more. And when they know they can't go anymore, they gotta go a little more. And when they absolutely positively don't think they can go anymore, they gotta go a little more. And it's, it's more mental training besides obviously the physical part. And what I do is we might do 20 balls, we might do 10 balls because I give bonuses. If I see something I haven't seen with a student the day before, I'll give, I'll give them a, some candy. I'll give them bonuses. If they're not working, we might be out here and do 80 of them. And they just run and fight and dig and scrap because a lot of times in tennis, it's not even, especially in the third set, who's better? Who just wants it more? So I'm trying to build inner qualities, not so much strategic or technical right now. It's what I call the 20 ball suicide and I do it with this kid three times a week and she literally dies on the court to do this drill and you'll see her inner qualities and her makeup come out in this drill. All right, Belle, show time. 20 ball suicide, you hit great shots, I give bonuses, you hit great shots, I give bonuses. If not, it's gonna be a rough day at the office. You ready? One. Good, two. Three, four, that's a bonus, that's a bonus. Still on three. 
Four, five, that's a bonus, that's a bonus. Six, shorty. Seven, you're on fire today, you're on fire. Eight, nine, that's a bonus. Nine, 10, stay in there. 11, stay in there. 11, let's go. 12, 13, come on. 13, use the legs, use the legs. 14, let's go, home stretch, you can smell it. 15, come on. 16, 17, come on, it's getting near the end, don't break. 18, come on, don't break, don't break. 19, you get it, you're done. Good makeup speed. Comet! Awesome, awesome. Water, great job, water, great job. 